Opening dito sa opening quarter, game one of this best of seven series. At uh, natulak ni Jason Castro, si L.A. Tenorio. When L.A. becomes 35, kapasok ko siya dito sa mga, sa mga TV programs. Ang galing rin yung master si L.A. <laughs> Pwede rin sa pinikula. Oh, Pwede, sila Pwede. magsama-sama nila Ronald Tudor. No, magaling rin siya. <laughs> Morboran also in the game. Here's De La Cruz. Posting up Kelly Williams. A good help coming off the bench. King Kong making some adjustments using lesser known players. But guys who did not really get a lot of time in that series with Ginebra where the others really got buttered up. And Haynes is the official underwear of the PBA. Here's Jason Castro. Six point game para sa Trop of Texters. Time winding down in the first. And Castro will miss. Rebound for Bradon Kablai. You probably can say that is the weakest part of his game is the long outside shot for Jason. Everything else he does well. well Alaska making some headway. Talk and text. They have fouls to give and they can use that. And Tenorio lost the ball. De La Cruz recovers. He missed it. One second remaining. And Ryan Reyes launches it. Oh, almost, almost, but not quite. So at the end of the first, Lamaga talking text 26 20. But Papa Tulio in game one of the semifinals after the It pays to be well rested, it pays to be fresh. Sometimes these early semifinals they complain about the long wait, but uh, in the end it pays off. Well, contrary to that, what happened last conference? Derby Ace came from the group, the quarterfinals. Beat San Miguel in the semifinals, went on to win the championships <laughs> 4 0 against an outright semifinalist in Alaska. Uh, Seems to be the exception more than the rule. Right? Yeah, well, percentage wise. Yeah. Pero basketball, Ibaranian. <laughs> Nothing can be predicted, especially if the other team is not afraid of you. Yeah, problem eh. Sometimes the intimidating factor. Larry for the share is in action after a long while. And Simpson, Simpson is going to go to work now because Daniels is no longer there. He's going to back his way down there and start scoring. And Alaska going to a 2-3 zone, but really marking the shooters. He's right out there. Is not guys who can really shoot long shots here. Here's Marquis, outside Castro, Castro inside, outside Ryan Reyes, shot knocked down to four. Dillinger has to fire away, but it sends it out. Marquis at the buzzer. And there's going to be a foul called against Jared Dillinger, hitting the elbow. But in that last sequence, although naubusa ng oras ng talk text, it, it, it really displayed what talk and text basketball is now. A lot of kick-out passes, a lot of penetration, kick-out, moving that ball around. Well, they move a lot and they weave a lot, but they are very quick with the passes. So, hindi talaga medyo nababapat masyado yung bola sa kamay na isang tao. You know, Alaska's missed a lot of um, uh, shots that should have fallen, like the one of De La Cruz earlier in, uh, in the earlier part of Jody Banks underneath the basket. With John Reyes taking no chances, he's sending Rani Del de Ocampo back to the scorer's table. And L.A. Tenorio will get uh, his first breather of the ball game. <laughs> Look at him, he's all tuckered out. Well, he has played 13 minutes and 20 seconds of basketball time. And that is stretched out much longer within the game. Saka siya patagal na lang bola. Tagabantay pa kay Jimmy. Tagabantay kay Castro. Pag hindi ka pa nahilo. Kaya talaga mapapagod ka nun. That free throw brought to you by BMEC Derby Ace Premium Formula. Dito ka na sa Llamado. Last mga unang bagi tayo ng second quarter na bang ng talking text 29-24. This conserves the energy of the defensive team in playing zone. And again, an interception results out. Simpson really should give up that ball. But Simpson says, I'll go all the way. At uh, managed two free throws uh, from that foul. 
percent. And as I said, lots of opportunities to have M1 plays or good baskets. Pero hindi lang pumapasok. First quarter, we have uh, talk and text shooting 52%, including one out of six only from three points, but very high from two points. While Alaska shot only 40%, and uh, talk and text out rebounded them 14 to 11. Also had six assists compared to five. The Simpsons gonna go to work while Daniels is sitting down. The mice will play because the cat is away. <laughs> Here's Castro. And Ryan Reyes fires. Slowly but surely, the Aces work their zone, has made three stops here and looking to convert on another offensive thrust. Here's Baggio. For the share. Pow. Yan ang ginagamit na kutak. When he heard it, you know, he was just putting up his hand there. Oh, oh, yeah. Big Daddy should be proud of that. And uh, Talking Tech says, take a moment, let me call a timeout. Let's take a look at this slum, Yakult slum dunk. Diamond Simpson. And the Aces down by three points. Back with more action after this. Diamond is only 22 years old. You know, he's the youngest guy on our team by three years. Some of the great hustle plays and off-the-board stuff he got, and then the winning basket, and then the winning stop, and just real big stuff uh, from him. And we hope he can continue in the top of Tech Series. But it's no accident that uh, these two teams have imports that have been with them since day one of the Fiesta Conference. Sean Daniels, Diamond Simpson. Well, you know, most of the time... Uh, it's not always a truism, but most of the time, pag tumagal sa yung import, it means you're winning. Well, when you're winning, ka naman magpapalit. Eh. So there must be good chemistry between the import and the players. Eh. So, doon ka na nagkano. Of course, there are big instances na nagpalit na nag-champion rin. Eh. Willie Williams went out without the ball, recovered, and missed again. Four stops already for the Alaska Aces, and they are trying to take the lead on this offensive play. Larry Fonacher opened with a three-point shot, watched it a little bit. He did make the free throw, so he felt confident about uh, his outside shot, and we're going to have an offensive foul called against one again. Oh, Radha Del Del Capo pulled down Larry Fonacher at the post. Kita kita yon ng ating referees. Here's that play. Second personal foul yon. Too small for me. <laughs> Larry holding his ground, fronting him a little bit, and a good steal here. Bira mag oh tinuwaga ng foul si uh, Castro. <laughs> Second personal as well para kay uh, Jason Castro. Daniel's coming back to the picture. Changing, uh, replacing uh, Kelly Williams. Let's go to Dominic Uy. One of the things that Coach Sean Reyes was worried about is losing their edge, and that edge he reminded them, he guys, guys, we need to start playing defense and get our heads out of our butts because you know we need to step in the lane and sacrifice our bodies to be able to win this game. Well, that edge, what you just gusto makita ni Chot in this game if his team still has that winning edge. And this is what uh, Tony De La Cruz does best, you know. Although, the, hey, parang tumama yun, eh. Huh? Sikulat ako, oh. parang tumama yun, eh. That's exactly what you're going to say. Yeah, I think that ball hit uh, the ring. That should have been reset to 24 after the miss. But anyway, game goes on. And the ball is with Dillinger. And Dillinger reverse, and he is fouled, and he will take two. Foul is going to be called against uh, Borboran. The first foul laban kay Mark Borboran. Two shots here for Jared Dillinger. Stock in Texas being nailed to 29 points for quite a while. Their biggest lead of the ball game was 10. It stands at 9. Sanitor is about to be sent back into this game. And Simpson will take a break. Toss is back. Started this game para sa Alaska. Well, nakita ni uh, Team Cone. When the other team took out its import, they had that advantage with Simpson. So he wasn't going to take him out. Nung bumalik niya isa, 
Pagod ka na. Magpahinga na ka na muna. I'll get you back there. He is, he is a master at doing that. And that's going to be an offensive foul. Now, 